Hi, this is Steve from Big Bear Bushcraft. Uh, just doing a short video today. Uh, we're going to do a video uh, following on from the poncho videos that we did earlier uh, and using uh, equipment in um, situations, uh, emergency situations. And obviously, it was describing how the poncho is very uh, well adapted for that. Just going to go a bit further. Um, at the moment, we're um, going through winter in the UK and there's a lot of bad weather about, there's been a lot of bad weather about, uh, as you're well aware of. So uh, today what I'd like to do is, is talk about uh, a kind of a cut down go bag that goes into the boot of the car. This is what I carry with me. So we're going to do that shortly. Um, but first of all, just going through some of the things you should normally have in your car with you. Uh, one of the things I always carry is a bow saw. It doesn't have to be a massive thing or anything of massive, the fantastic quality, but just a standard bow saw you can pick up a B&Q, somewhere like that, um, just, just throwing in the back just helps uh, if you have like, a fallen tree across the road uh, obviously you can cut, cut wood for any need you have. Secondly a good thing to have is in this particular time is uh, a snow shovel, either a fold down shovel or a, um, or a small version of a snow shovel just in the boot of the car again, it doesn't have to be anything mega expensive but that obviously is going to help you out of the situations. Um, and one of the other things which is fantastic to have is uh, a high vis jacket. Uh, you're like, working on the roadside, obviously there's other vehicles moving. You want to make sure that uh, you're as visible as possible. A couple of other things that you probably would like to have, depends. Uh, I keep snow chains in the car uh, just to get me out of trouble. And also some towing rope uh, just to be able to get yourself out. And obviously rope is cordage that's going to help you if there's a, a, a real situation. So we're just going to go through now quickly um, this bag here and uh, we're going to go through the items that are in it. Okay. Okay, so this is the, the bag itself. Uh, so let's talk about that first. It's a 25 litre Highlander Forces rucksack in black. Um, this is very comfortable to carry, it's not too heavy, it's not going to allow you to get too much items in there uh, and it fits quite comfortably into the boot of your car. I have a small Honda Civic and this fits quite easily in there, there's no problems whatsoever. Um, so let's go into a little bit about what's in there. Right, the lid up. So let's put, talking about cutting tools, obviously you've already got a bow saw, to add to that we want a knife, don't we? A good quality knife. This is a, uh, a, a Mora, it's a training knife, and the reason I've got it in there is high visibility. Um, again, if you're dealing with a real situation, uh, you may want to make sure that the tools you're using are quite high visibility. The bow saw itself will probably be in uh, probably a red or a yellow or a blue or something. Make your knife the same thing, it just means that if you drop it, if there's if anything that happens to it, you know where it is. So that's a good thing, first thing. Secondly, just pull this bag out. I'm just using a plastic bag. One of the reasons, that, one of the things we're trying to do here is keep this um, cost down, so you don't want to have loads of expensive things. This here, this is a uh, just a small billy can. I mean, you could replace this thing with a uh, like a peaches tin with a coat hanger. You know, a little project for you to do maybe, or you know, a dog food tin, something like that. But in here. I keep all of the uh, all of the supplies I need. First of all, two pieces of paracord. I'll come to those in a little bit later. Uh, in there also, we've we've got our stove. This is a gel stove. It's um it's that these range from about two pound fifty to about four or five pounds, uh, depending on what one you're after. So um, they're fantastic bits of kit to keep hold of because they work on the same gel that you use. Um, for washing your hands. So it makes them quite inexpensive to run. They come with their own stand uh, that you can reseal them so you can keep using them over and over. And obviously that will just fit on top of there. So that's, that's a really good stove to have. And finally in there, this is just an overnighter so we're not talking about like it's going to keep you going for days and days and days but it will keep you going overnight. I've got uh, four hot chocolates. So I'm trying to use this bag, this bag to cover two people and it gives you a hot meal, not a full meal I wouldn't say, not by any means, but it'll give you a warm meal. So in there I've got some Ancient Harriet's couscousies, um, that's a really good thing to keep in there, uh, it uses very little water. 
so it means you're not going to be using loads and loads of water to boil down to use that, it's just as you put a little bit of boiling water on it, it does its own thing. Right, I'm just going to move that to my side now. The next thing I've got in there are two of these. These are from Milcom, uh, they're ponchos. Uh, so going back to the poncho setups, I've got two here, which means these these are the full, full working, full sized ponchos, two of them, so it covers two people. And it gives you a lot of options with your shelters. So you can have a ground sheet and a, and a top, or you can have two tops. Depends on what you what the situation arises. But uh, two of those will definitely look after you both. And then, again, keeping this on the on the cheap, so to speak, I've got two sleeping bags. Obviously, these are taking up a lot of room in this rucksack, um, but they do they do switch down. Uh, as you can see they're not expensive ones by any means but it's just something to keep you warm and um, they're just they're obviously you want you're hopefully going to be wearing appropriate attire clothing but to have an extra um, a, bit of a bit of skin between you and the elements is a lot better so two cheap of those two cheap um, sleep bags is definitely going to go a long way now the paracord the paracord is obviously going to be used with the ponchos so um, uh, just having that as well just allows you to do like the ridge lines like I was showing you the other day and um, it helps you just for all sorts of different reasons. In the side pocket then, just a metal, just a metal um, flask here, quite a wide lip on that, but not expensive again, none of this stuff is very expensive. But keeping it metal, it's not thermos, it's single skin, but keeping that Metal just means I can boil water in that if I need to. And then finally on the other side, that's my tinder box. So in here I've got all forms of tinder. Also, I've got some ibuprofen, some paracetamol, I've got a rehydration treatment. So this is a medication kit as well. Several different forms of um, fire lighting. I also keep in here some tin foil. That can be used as a windshield for the uh, Excuse my dog tick tacking around. This could be used as a windshield for your stove. Um, it can be all, lots of different things it can be used for. But just a great little, and obviously you can see that folds right down. It doesn't take up hardly any room. A couple of candles in there for light. Um, a few other fire lighting things. A little hip flask of brandy in there. Just a miniature one. Again, you can use that for medicinally. Or if this takes the edge off of bad times or anything. So that's just a, a little box there. The only other thing that you'd be right thinking about is, okay, we haven't got a torch, this might be at night. Most phones these days come with torches. Even my little Samsung here, that has quite a powerful little torch on it. So, bring that up. So, you may need to reduce down that, or you may want to carry a torch, I don't know. I tried to think of what was the minimum. To me, a bit of hot food, some fire lighter equipment, a saw and a knife, uh, some shelters, two sleeping bags, this will keep me and my wife going. Um, the only other thing that's not in here that I keep in the boot of the car is a big water bottle. And that's what my wife or I will carry along with this. Um, I, that way I can change the water on a regular basis um, so it's been kept um, hygienic. So that's, that's basically it really. Just a short video on that. Just so um, it's as I said, it's kind of a, 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 a go bag, but to get you home. It's not there to keep you going for days and days and days. That's, that's what I've got, so um, I hope you find that informative. Maybe you can use it yourselves. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm Steve from Big Bear Bushcraft. Hope to see you soon.